Hi, this is the song lyricist Paul Robert Thomas, London born and bred in North London, not far from the Beatles Abbey Road studio. Uh, as a song lyricist, try saying that after a few beers, song lyricist, I uh, would like to talk to you briefly about, funnily enough, writing song lyrics. Uh, as you know, most songs consist of uh, a chorus, verse, chorus, and a bridge thrown in here and there. Uh, with with lyrics, they don't necessarily have to rhyme. You could rhyme the first line with the second line, the first line with the third line, first line with the fourth line, etc., etc., etc. The second and third uh, lines don't even have to rhyme if if the other two rhyme. There's many different uh, forms. Well, the current album is Belief, and uh, I think it's obvious what that's about. Uh, but uh, our other two albums and the next album uh, are the Scared of America series, one, two, and three. Uh, but it can be anything. It really can be anything that you choose to write about that comes to you to write, to write about it. I mean, I don't sit in front of a, a blank white piece of paper with a pen in my hand, uh, forcing myself to write lyrics. You know, I wait, I wait for the inspiration to come, and that can come from watching TV, uh, reading the news, a newspaper, who does that these days, uh, or a book, or just walking about, and, you know, you know, everyday life. But I carry around with me a notebook and a pen. So wh whenever the, the inspiration comes to me, I'll jot it down. Because if I don't, I know it'd be lost. I'll never remember that. Uh, whatever it was, it can be uh, can be a line, it can be a theme for a song, it can be a line that might might be added on to something I wrote down in my notebook months ago or even years ago. I've had songs that uh, are lyrics that I finished writing when I literally had the idea about 20 years ago. So you know. So it, 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 it can be a, a long-winded process, if, if you like, but sometimes the, other, the opposite happens. And you, do, you just sit down and you write in, in, in two, five, ten minutes a song. But, uh, as I said, it really doesn't matter. As long as, long as, as, as you feel compelled to write, uh, which I do. I don't play a musical instrument. I learnt music at school, obviously everybody in England learns to play the recorder, excuse me, and the uh, violin, and I learnt the rudiments and, th and theory of music, I think there's a famous book that I had to read about it. I know how to write music, but I don't play music. Uh, so when I write lyrics, I, I have a tune in my head, or a rhythm in my head, it's, it's, or the beat, if you like, of, of, of the words, the words have their own... Uh, beat their own rhythm which uh, I write to but sometimes I take a well-known song and I'll strip the lyrics away and insert my own lyrics and that's a pattern that I will send to a songwriter to 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 compose music to but I don't tell them which 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 song I've copied if you like uh, but I've only done that quite rarely I mean I usually just write lyrics and I send them to the song, songwriter, composer, and they do all the, all the hard work. I, I, I don't write uh, lyrics usually to music already written because that's, uh, it tends to detract from the power of the lyrics that I write. So uh, that's, that's how I work anyway. Um, but writing lyrics is a dying art. I mean, I look sometimes, I, I listen to what's going on today uh, musically. Uh, I tend not to because really it, it's quite depressing. And it, 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 it's <laughs> the, art of, the art of communication is obviously uh, not what it was. And certainly uh, song, lyric, song lyric writing isn't what it was. I mean, it, it's really, as we say in English, piss poor. It's quite frightening some of these uh, some of these hits, some of the lyrics and and how they're written. But you know, say the V. This is the time. These are the times that we're living in. Uh, some say the end times. 
uh, Jason Barry by the music about today, yes. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, a little bit about my pedigree or recent pedigree. I wrote a Christmas song called Christmas Time With You with Mitch Gonzangela Preetholm, and that was accepted and opened the Hallmark Movie Channel's uh, film, uh, Christmas on Honeysuckle Lane, starring Alicia Witt and Colin Ferguson. That was watched by millions and millions of people over two Christmases, and it, it will be, in fact, what's the day today? It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, played or appearing on the Hallmark Channel again this year. Uh, so as a result of that, I was contacted by Cliff Richards' Uh, personal secretary, Sir Cliff Richards, I'm sorry, is a big star in the UK, uh, and I was invited to submit songs for his 220 uh, tour. That didn't take place because of the coronavirus, and so I decided to use the songs instead of waiting for his next uh, tour. I mean, he's 80 years of age, or 81, 80 years of age. So uh, I decided to put them on this album called Belief, which was released by Studio City's UL Sounds on the 13th of November. And it's, it mostly consists of songs I've, I've created with my fellow songwriter, Paul Odiasi, who now lives over in Switzerland, but he's a London boy, ex-London boy like me. And uh, we also invited international uh, artists to appear on, on the album. We've got artists from also from Germany, from Canada, and from London. London is is uh, somebody I, I I used to work with when he was young. Uh, we all were, weren't we? Uh, sometime. Luke Jackson, who actually closes the album with a with a fantastic song called "Show Me the Way," and and I expect you've you've seen him. Uh, but many of you will know me from. Or my name, perhaps Paul Robert Thomas. That's I, from uh, the Reverbation, Re Reverbination site, where I usually add about 300 fans. They call him, but they're actually fellow song creators. Each day, uh, I invite them to come and listen to my work and to fan me. I guess you call it, and I funnel many of those to my website which is www.paullyrics.com. Uh, on Reverb Nation, I'm number three in the London ch uh, charts for blues. I'm number one nationally in Israel for blues. Uh, I think I'm number eight or something in... in, 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 in oh, I'm number two uh, in, in for Songs of Belief in London in the charts. I'm number eight, I think, with Les Pauls or Pauls. Uh, alternative music so as I say I funnel in fact I funnel thousands from Reverb Nation to my website at www.paullyrics.com uh, but getting back to songwriting write write whatever comes to you write in how you want I mean I've, I've, I've got lyrics where it's just 20 lines one after the other and the chorus comes at the end I mean you can write how you want it, it it, it depends who, who's, who's doing the music as well. If you're a singer-songwriter, then you most probably won't, won't need to listen to me. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you write your own, 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 own stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that there's, there's people that are out there who want to have a go at, at songwriting, and, and you can do it. You can, you can write lyrics. Find someone who's looking for a song lyricist to to uh, <coughs> write the words, create songs. Creation is, a, is, is from God. I mean, to create is good. So, uh, so go for it. Anyway, I think that, that's all there is, there is I can tell you. Uh, my Reverb Nation is uh, here. I'm going to write them here. I'm going to write here my main website, which is www.paulyrics.com. Did I mention that before? And, uh, you know, write, write, create, you know, that, that, that's what we're here for, to create. I think it, it does good. I think music is, 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 is a wonderful tool, wonderful tool, a wonderful healing tool, a wonderful way to impart information. Um, I mean, I write about historical things as well, you know. 
it, on our next album, After Belief, we, we've already started working on it, called uh, Scared of America, Volume 3. There's a song about John Wayne. And John Wayne, actually, this is the link to John Wayne. Go in and read what the lyrics are about. You can listen to the song, but you'll miss what, what it's really about. Uh, there's, there's about, I don't know how many references, there's about 30 different references. Each word or line means something different in, in what you think it means. Like, uh, for instance, off the top of my head, uh, I wrote an email to the Lord, but it got leaked. Now that's contemporary, that's to do, obviously, with leaked emails. And who is paying the price for leaking emails? Who's sitting in, in, <coughs> in American prison? So, uh, you know, I usually write straight lyrics, but, but many times I don't. Many times I, I write them, you know, I learned from, from Dylan a lot, Mr. Bob Dylan. So, uh, so as I said, you check out my stuff. Uh, if you want to work with me, I work with anybody. Anybody that wants to create songs to release them on CDs or, or albums or to perform them in concerts when you could. Hopefully you will, you will be able to soon. Uh, I'm happy to work with anybody. But as I said, I send lyrics and you, they, will create the music to, to, to those lyrics, around those lyrics. Thank you very much. I've come to the end. I just wish you good health and happiness. All the best. Bye.